All right, hey everybody, this is Lemonade King here coming at you with another video. And today we're going to be talking about uh, how the corner sister system works in MK11. Uh, basically, you're wanna, gonna wanna uh, go with a character that has a, uh, a lot of good damage in the corner, like Liu Kang or Sub-Zero. Uh, uh, Night Wolf works better, but anybody can really uh, go into neutral into the corner very easily. Uh, but anyway, this is how you're supposed to uh, play in the corner. So mainly, you want to go for a, a hard knockdown. So it's probably going to be like a combo hard knockdown. And basically, like you want to going to hit confirm. Uh, and normally, when you hit confirm, hit confirm, it's uh, it's supposed to be over. Uh, the fight is supposed to be like halfway over because. P work uh, talking about and debating whether or not okay you can do this right here this 434 four move that Lucane has but there's not much you can really do uh, in order to uh, evade it or punish it the best thing you can do is uh down one uh down three down four stuff like that real fast getaways in order to get real uh get a short enough range really quickly uh but back into the corner, you mainly want to um, stick in the corner. And that sends, that stream right there sends the opponent flying. A lot of times, like, you can go into, um, and then, like, sight somebody out and they go into throw like that. So, like, it's really all about mix-ups in the corner. And, um, another thing, if you want to uh, be good in the corner, you have to neutral jump, uh, 98% of the time your opponent won't try and hit you uh, first starting when you're uh, getting into the hard knockdown uh, This is simply because uh, This move is really good, you know the basic jump uh, in, a, in the neutral is uh, Really good It has to be it has to be uh, Some damage impact somewhere though because in the neutral Okay, you got some disadvantages too because somebody could wake up with um a forward two. I know I up to I believe is the wake up and um basically what you wanna go to do is keep them in the corner for as long as you can before they actually find some kind of way. And I know this parry once you knock somebody down it takes a whole lot. On the amplified parry you have to you have to uh you have to amplify it so with that being said, in, in order to uh, keep your uh, the pressure uh, consistent, though, you have to neutral jump. It's all about the neutral jumps and the hit confirms. Because if you don't hit confirm and you constantly do the same combo, somebody will easily catch along to what you're doing. Somebody will very easily t uh, catch along to what you're doing. And and even when you're about to do mix-ups, you know, you want to go for uh, the weak points such as. Uh, the lows, the lows are very good, and um, just the really hard strings like this 434, and maybe even some neutral jump kicks, some basic neutral jump kicks, and what did this go into? Yeah, you can even go to a bicycle kick with that, so, you know, watch out for those little cheap things that people try to throw at you you know I, you know I, I really don't play in rank no more because I was getting, getting beat by really trash people at times it was getting really frustrating but it was just you know it's the little things you have to watch out for in a game like MK11 because it's not really MK anymore it's um it's more like Street Fighter different people have different health bars and stuff now and you really have to watch out for things like that uh it's basically Street Fighter, but a really gory way. Uh, I had a friend tell me, well, this game requires no skill. Well, games like Naruto and other games, they have, you know, no skill. So, it's kind of like that. You have to outthink your opponent and not just aim for really high damage and combos, but just go for the unexpected. You know, you got to be unpredictable. Um, Don't just, you know... Like the fireball is really good, but don't just keep on doing this. And that will really work, right there. That will work sometimes. You could do that, but that will work sometimes because they might be expecting you to throw out something else. But you know, 
So you can throw out three of these before somebody actually actually catch a loan on what you're doing. So it, it just really works in the hand in, in handy when you um go to fight somebody and um I remember I fought, fought this one dude. He he was just throwing and um well. I don't think he threw too much. It was most of him blocking, but he was basically he blocked really good, and then he threw me uh, a couple of times. And my about that time, you know, my health bar was all already half gone, and um, he was you know he was trying to uh you know throw me because I don't believe he really know how to play the game. And like I think he won uh. Because I didn't do something right, I don't think. But he just had a real firm block, and some people do have a really firm block. Uh, I mean, this right here with the uh red, well I call it red pepper. It's uh, it enhances the damage with Luke Kane. Um, don't a lot of people use it. Uh, and that's why I like to play in versus, cause I like to uh, you know, test out different variants that you know players have and stuff. Um. For instance, uh, I think this is a tournament. Let me go. Well, okay, where is it? Uh, for the practice option, uh, where's? Oh yeah, Bruce Kane. All right. <clears throat> All right. So this loadout is uh really funny because uh it's Luke Kane's upper half and it's Luke, uh and it's Bruce Lee's lower half. So you know it's really fun. I think this loadout Bruce Kane is kind of clever. But anyway, um, the neutral situ uh, the neutral situation is uh really good and it's different because you now have access to the uh nunchuck stance if you have that equipped, which is uh basically it goes into the nunchuck stance, which you can go into that floor or he has a low floor that he can do, and then it goes into a mid. You have to be uh, be aware of that. You know, somebody could block that or you know. You can cancel it, which is really good. You know, the whole point of canceling mo uh, moves is just to, um, you know, confuse people. Because, I mean, you could do that. And you, know, you go into the stands where you can really cancel it. And then you could throw again. You know, somebody thinks you might you, you might throw out something like this. But you're really not. It's, um, you have to be versatile when choosing variants and ranked. You know, experiment with different uh, variants, though. Um, in versus, cause I'll play in versus, and I don't really like playing rank, cause it it, it just full of uh, uh rage. But besides rage, it's just trash people. You know, that's playing with really good characters. It's mostly about the characters, not really people. I know that sometimes they could be the other way around, but like this the grab even the grab it, it, it takes a big chunk of your health if you think about it and next thing you know you know you way low health and say man you like, and you see you, you'll be you don't even know that your health is gone basically so you really gotta watch out for that and and yep yeah, this turn right here is really dangerous because no matter how hard you down two out of this stream for some reason the full string of that, four three four four, um, that always seems to hit. Like you cannot get out of his. Like you cannot get out of this. Like you can't press out of that. You can press out of this, but you can't press out of this. So a lot of people uh mainly use Lu Kang for a good pressure on a good pressure in the corner. But he's a good character overall. He's one of the easiest uh, uh, characters people to use in the game, basically. Uh, along with pressure, uh, in the side from pressure, uh, pressure on block and chip damage on block um, is enhanced a little bit with him, with the 434 thing. Um, what else? Did I cover everything? Oh no, this, uh, this right here. This is a really good overhead. Um, it pops people up to uh, about 94 degrees into the air. It's a really good takedown move. Um, and the parry in the corner is simply just what you would expect from normal 
uh, normal fighting. Because see, if you like kick all the way in the corner and you parry, it's basically over. If you have meter, um, try to have both bar meters. I know I could do about like 57% uh, or something like that. I wonder if I still had that playback record. No, nah, it's all Scorpion. Okay, but it was a really uh, sick combo I did with Liu Kang. Um, you guys can probably go back and watch it, but basically, Liu Kang, Liu Kang, Sub-Zero, and Nightwolf, they have an S rank right now simply because they're the best right now. Simply because they have so much pressure. They can overwhelm so many people. They have so... And Sub-Zero, he's not even really good in this game, to be honest to me. He's not good. He's just, he's one of those characters that's so fast, you know, people be doing everything. You can, you don't even know what Sub-Zero's doing most of the time. Uh, there's a debate about will Scorpion always beat uh, Sub-Zero, this and that. Well, he kind of beat Scorpion in a way in this game. I mean, Scorpion is really predictable. You know, he's my main, but... He's really predictable. Uh, people might not see it, but, you know, I think he got nerfed, and, you know, that was really stupid. Also, they buffed, they buffed new, uh, new Cybots on um, damage, so I think he takes about, like, a simple combo it takes, like, 50%, and I'm like, man, like, I mean, new Cybot literally has no mix-ups, but he just has solid, that, sh that Street Fighter solid damage ultra combo type system so you really need to watch out for stuff like that and the damage um some people can do some really cool mix-ups with a uh, noob i haven't seen any yet uh that's really off chain but this right here is basically one of what you want to shoot for if you're working in the corner or even in the mid you know hit confirming make sure you hit confirm because you don't want to keep doing the four three four um if you think about it because eventually uh because there i think there is some kind of way you can interrupt this um some people just usually die on one all the time but i don't think that's the correct way to interrupt this certain moves you do um i forgot which to interrupt but i know i did some interrupt at one time uh really good Oh yeah, now the flawless block. Uh, a flawless blocking is really essential. Well, it can, I don't want to say it's essential, but it can be good if you're in the corner. I mean, I have not mastered flawless blocking yet. Yeah, that's one thing in MK11 I have not mastered yet. Um, I've seen somewhere these people were getting some modded controllers for MK11 and they were like making their own controllers. I don't know how true this is, but, and they was making their own modded controllers for MK11, kind of like aimbot controllers, but they were for MK11, it was crazy. It was, um, like, you know, the whole R2 thing with the um, PS4, or whatever, the bumper thing, the trigger thing, like when you block, you can modify it to where you can stay blocked. I mean, you, you can flawless, every time you press the trigger, you can flawless block. It was crazy. Uh, so MK11 is gonna be one of those games that you won't be able to play online anymore simply because people are gonna try to start figuring out stuff. So, and it's gonna want to make you rage every time. So, yeah, you gotta watch out for different stuff. Uh, just be safe out there, cause I know when I was in ESL. Um, I won three out of four matches, um, but the only reason why I didn't win four, I mean, if I would've won four matches, I would've been first, but the only reason why I didn't win four matches is because, uh, this Cassie Cage player and, uh, this dude was, uh, he was doing this simple string and I'm like, how in the world I interrupt this and, for some reason I couldn't figure it out and then when I tried to figure it out it was too late and eventually you know Cassie Cage won the match because he's one of those characters I think she had she has a neutral she has a neutral jump in herself I think she she has a really good neutral jump and, uh 
I think in the mid as far as wake up, in the mid as far as wake up. But yeah, she does really good pre pressure in the corner too. And um, uh, I, I think they bust a lot of characters. Um, nerf characters like Sonya and um, Cascade. And that was really disappointing to me when they nerfed Sonya like that, cause I was I was beginning to um main Sonya and stuff, but she got a huge nerf and yeah, so it was sad. Yeah, that right there was sad. Um, I like this game when it was broken, to be honest with you. You know, it, you know, it was more rage worthy, but it was more of an advantage for me. Um. Uh, I don't really like um I don't really well I won't say I like I, I love this game to be honest with you but I don't I'm not I don't really enjoy this game no more to be honest with you it, it some things just you know it's really uh devastating but stay out stay safe out there uh everybody and um remember just go for um hit confirm not just uh regular mix-ups like lows and stuff but go you know go into grabs i know it's not a lot of damage but somebody can easily you know go into an escape and get out of it but the grab is really the best move in the game to, you know hit confirm because i mean that 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 you do that. That <laughs> net. So you really got a lot of you know advantages as far as throws. You know. Do that. That or that. Nope. Thought you was gonna hit him with. Nope. All right, I think I covered everything as far as the uh, neutral and the highs and the corner in MK11. All right. Uh, have a blessed day and uh, subscribe to Lemonade King and uh, peace out, everybody. All right, peace.